What's up, ladies and gentlemen of the internet? You know, I'm still low key kind of looking for a triathlon TT bike to purchase at some point. Uh, but today I thought it would be interesting to take a look at what the top 10 male pro triathletes are riding today. Okay, with this video, you are gonna have to cut me some slack uh, because we don't have the Kona World Championships this year. Uh, so I'm not really objectively reading out the top 10 spots from that particular race. These are some of the top pros that I'm kind of arbitrarily ranking from one to 10. And I know that you're gonna disagree, but you know, that's why they invented the comment section below these videos. Uh, but I will try to move past some of these athletes pretty quickly just because it's the bikes that I wanna talk about and not necessarily the athletes or their specific rankings or anything like that. And a lot of the best athletes, in my opinion, in triathlon are ITU pro triathletes. Uh, they typically ride road bikes. Uh, in this video, I want it to be about time trial bikes or TT bikes, so uh, I did the best I could here. Uh, lastly, I just wanna remind you guys that, you know, these guys are paid to ride these bikes. They're not necessarily picking the very fastest bike for them or a bike that tests the best in a wind tunnel. You know, when they say they're in love with their XYZ bike, you know, I don't think we should take it too seriously. It's because, you know, that's part of their job. That's the way that they put food on the table. Uh, nonetheless, you know, I still find it interesting. So uh, let's start with number 10 because it'll be more dramatic to work our way towards number one. Uh, and here I've got Daniel Beckago uh, from Denmark. He actually rides Canyon and, you know, Canyon's a bike that we're gonna see a couple times on this top 10 list. Uh, it's the Canyon Speedmax bike, kind of top of the line Canyon. Uh, it looks like he has Bont cycling shoes here, which is a pair of shoes that I really do wanna try at some point. The wheels that he's riding here are DT Swiss. And then to me, this does look like a Dura Ace Di2. I think it's probably the 11 speed. I haven't seen the 12 speed stuff on too many bikes just yet. Okay, and in ninth place, I've got Johnny Brownlee, uh, but Johnny and Alistair, his brother, you know, pretty much ride the same stuff, uh, sponsored by the same bike companies. Uh, Alistair has been injured recently, but I do think that he's been riding uh, a bit of gravel. I think he just did a gravel race recently. Anyway, they ride the Scott Plasma 6 with Ceram Axis Red 12-speed one by components uh, with zip wheels, uh, and they use the Speedplay Aero pedals. They also use D2Z custom aero bars, which look pretty cool. And this is a Wahoo Bolt bike computer on the front here. Okay, in the eighth spot, I've got Vincent Lewis, who is on a specialized S-Work Shiv, uh, also Speedplay pedals. Uh, wheels are Roval wheels, which are, you know, a specialized branded wheels. And then he's got the Ceram Red 2x11 speed here is what I think this is. And then actually, as I'm recording this, it looks like Vincent Lewis announced some sort of partnership with Hammerhead. Uh, so that's the Hammerhead Crew 2 unit that's new here. I'm excited because I've been actually riding with that computer and I'm gonna be reviewing it on this channel in the next couple of weeks. Again, you know, Vincent Lewis is one of the best ITU athletes of all time. Uh, could have easily been ranked first on this list. You know, I have him eighth here. If you guys disagree with any of these things, let me know in the comments section. In the seventh spot, I've got Patrick Lange, uh, also on a Canyon bike here. He's using Swiss side wheels. I think he's using those same speed play pedals that we've seen on this before. And it looks like, at least in this picture, uh, he's just using the stock aero bars that come with that Canyon Speedmax. Okay, next athlete on my list is Lionel Sanders. He's got this beautiful green Canyon Speedmax bike. I know we talked about that bike a lot here. Uh, I don't see any custom aero bars look stock to me as well. Uh, using head wheels here, um, SRAM access, looks like the 12 speed one by system. I can't really tell what shoes he's wearing here. Uh, but the helmet he's wearing definitely looks like that Louis Garneau helmet from his like previous sponsorship. That helmet does test really fast on a lot of people and a lot of wind tunnels, so doesn't surprise me that he's stuck with that. And at number five, I've got Sam Long, who rides the E119 from Argon 18. Uh, he uses Envy wheels, 
and he uses aero bars from the 51 Speed Shop. And on Sam's bike, I think that's Dura Ace Di2. Uh, I know that he uses Wadi Ink uh, gear as far as like custom apparel goes. Uh, I can't say for sure what shoes he wears, um, but I think he's also on a Rudy helmet. And next I've got Cam Worf who rides a Pinarello bike. It's called the Belita bike, I think. Uh, he has Princeton wake wheels uh, and what I think is the Garmin 1030 computer here. Also, it looks like he has Nike cycling shoes, which I haven't seen that often on any of the pros. Uh, and he uses a cask aero helmet. In the third spot, I've got Christian Blumenfeld. Kind of hard to put him at third since he's a gold medalist. Uh, but also at second, I've got Gustav Eden. Both of those guys are kind of like teammates on the same gear, on the same, you know, everything. Uh, and that bike is the Giant Trinity bike. They also both use those Kadex wheels. Uh, they're both on Dura Ace Di2. Uh, here on this picture of Gustav, I think he's got the Garmin 1030 Plus bike computer there. And in a surprise to no one here, I've got Jan Ferdino here at the top of the list. He's on Canyon, that same Speed Max. But what's interesting about Jan is recently I've noticed that he has a new custom aero bar set up. Uh, I'll read this from Canyon as, you know, they actually mention it in one of their posts on Instagram and I'll link the post, of course, below in the description. Uh, but they say both hands now enclose only one grip and not only reduces the frontal flow area from approximately 150 millimeters to 100 millimeters, but it also improves the aerodynamic shape of his hands and arms. The hands no longer form a bend, but converge in the extension of the arm to form a kind of tip. A further advantage of this mono handle is that it is now possible to hold the handle firmly with both hands, and it has proven to be very comfortable in crosswinds or on uphill passages. Looks pretty cool to me. Uh, I'm sure it would cost a fortune for anyone else to get it, uh, but that's what Jan's riding, uh, so you know it's good. Uh, and I can imagine that you guys are saying, hey, what about Alex Yi? He's a silver medalist. Why isn't he even on the top 10 list here? Uh, and that is just because, you know, I actually haven't seen him on a time trial bike, uh, just the Trek Madone, which is a road bike. But, you know, I do suppose that if he were to ride something, it would be the Trek Speed concept. You know, there's been rumors of that bike being updated and there's leaked photos from the Criterium Dolphinae of, you know, the Trek Speed concept with disc brakes. Uh, but I don't have, you know, a ton of information about that new bike. Okay, you know, who did I miss? You know, uh, Joe Skipper, Ben Canute. Uh, more important than who I missed, what bike did I miss? Did you guys, you know, like this video? Would you guys like to see a women's version of something like this? Or, you know, maybe look at what running shoes the top pros are wearing? Let me know down below in this comment section of this video. And then after that, be sure to get out there, swim, bike, run, rinse, and then repeat it all over again. And we will see you guys in the next one.